Hello everybody, I'm Demi here. Welcome back to the David Dyson Network here on this Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. And in this video, I'm going to be doing an announcement video about the future of the David Dyson Network. Um, Jason will be here at the end of this video to talk about one certain topic. We will get into that later on as I will try to do this the fastest I can here so that we will make We'll make this video too long of an announcement video, but if we do go over time, it's completely okay. First things off, uh, we have some updates to tell you about as for Terry Thousand Network. And uh, first, I want to talk about Terry Thousand Hey Notes. Um, we are going to be still continuing to do the show bi weekly on Wednesdays. Uh, and we're bringing back the Hangout sessions, the, in the um, interviews are still hold are going to be on hold. I'll explain why in a little bit. Um, but once I get a job this summer, um, I will let you guys know that I will be rebranding the program if I do get the job this summer. That is, I'll be rebranding the program. We may still do it on Wednesdays or maybe another day of the week. Um, but we are st still going to be doing right now to attach hey now by weekly on Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Um, we are going to be, I'm trying to get back to the old format, um, like it once was in 2021. Um, you know, with us playing games or random shenanigans and all that good stuff. So we are still continuing the program. Uh, on, for bi weekly on Wednesdays since the past episodes have been successful and i will also want to say i will not be doing episode until april 24th at 6 p.m eastern time because spring break is next week and i want time to recover from the past weeks of doing this show so no episodes until april 24th and as for the interviews as concerned i am not quite sure but once i do get the job and rebrand the show i'm not 100 sure about doing interviews on the show again because from my experience, people are not familiar with the people I interview on the show, which is a little bit unfortunate because I wanted the show to not only be about variety of activities to do on the show, but I also bring interviews to a little bit more interesting as for different types of people I bring on the show. I been giving some suggestions that maybe I should do an interview separate, like on completely separate videos. Um so I am still debating on that as for myself because like I'm still gonna be doing the show um on my own right now and um until I rebrand the show, let's say I will be adding back a crew um that I want you know that I basically was I had before with you know uh, I'll explain more later on but um with turn thousand and hangouts um, once coming, once I do get a job, I'll be bringing back roles, you know, for certain guests that for the format later on. But I'll explain more later on in this video. Okay. Um. So the interviews are currently on hold. I did ha record one interview a few months ago, um, which I may replay on your thousand hangouts, um, sometime in the next month or two. Just to have something out there. Um, but after that, I will not be doing any more interviews until I, once I make my decision about interviews. And I'm currently not booking any in, in, interviews right now until further notice once I do get the job. Because that is my goal this year is to get that job. So that way I know what my schedule is like for the, for the near future. Okay. Um, and why is this my last year um, of going on on YouTube? I don't know if I explained this before on YouTube because I've never said this to some people out there. Basically, on why this is going to be my final on year on YouTube is because I want to focus on other things in life because you know what you know doing a lot of videos and streams and all that. Stuff, you know, stuff it takes a while for it than you realize. And like I said, I'm going through a lot of changes in life right now. I do hope the job I get will be easy for me to uh, take care of as for both my real life and also 
being able to do YouTube. Um, but the reason why this will be my final goal on here and only focus on certain shows, like the Money Vault, there is Punch a Bunch, um, the Hidden Envelope, um, Deal or No Deal, uh, 200,000 Hanos, of course. Um, what else? Price of Luck. Um, in the future years, those are going to be the main shows I'll be mostly focusing on, unless if I decide to, to uh, try out other shows. But, it, you know, once in the upcoming years, those will be the only shows I'll be focusing on. Also, Spread for Million, too, I forgot to add that. But, um, you know, those will be the only shows that I'll be focusing on in, in the years. But I will still be having Jason as, you know, one of the main co eps I will still be having, you know, Brian Martin, you know, Danny, um, as, you know, guys who can help with the Never Dies Network schedule, um, and many others that will be determined because next month we'll be doing some meetings with a lot of people to get more involved, not only with the schedule, but certain roles for the channel that I'll explain later on. Um, so, yeah, like I said, the reason why this is my final all in year because, you know, this is not a job. This is a hobby. And I want to, you know, focus on things that I really like to do in life. Like, for example, watching, you know, sports, when I, which I do a lot, and watch game shows when I can, despite April being one of the most busiest months for sports of all time, along October. Um, but, you know, this it, it also you know, means that, you know, that equals more, because if I take less time on certain shows, it will get better with doing more focus on those. And that's why I only pick certain shows, you know, after this year, as for what I want to do in the future with the channel. So don't worry, you know, in the next couple of years, I will not be stepping down and then the others take over. I am just simply saying this is my family all year in the year on YouTube, just to simply say I, ha I don't have pressure on myself because I've learned that lesson and also editing is a pain in the butt as well. So I just don't want to do that too much anymore because I want to focus on other things and have fun at the same time we're still doing this YouTube, you know, which I've been love doing since 2019. Without you guys, I will not be continuing this channel today. And that and I really mean that a lot. And you guys mean a lot. And that's why I'm still gonna be to doing YouTube streams, YouTube shows years to come, once I do have the time to myself with that one. Okay. And why did me and Chase made the Devil Thousand Network schedule two years ago? Or started that as two years ago. Well, we started this schedule last year, but why did me and Jason do this? Well, the main reason is, is because we are trying to get more people involved and get out of their circle. And, you know, we're not going to be doing repeats anymore, just so we're clear. We're not doing repeats. But we still want people to not only maybe make new shows for the network on their own so that way I know there's still content out there for people to watch while I'm not doing it too much anymore starting next year but I and plus I've been doing it since 2019 that's five years geez. Um, but I want people to you know get more involved I want people to have more fun and also maybe with some intercept work, you know, for the future, if they want, if they want to, and just simply have fun, and also the most important thing, help grow them as well, because with this, there does not work, Jason came in at the perfect time, you know, when it was around 900 something subscribers, I forget when, and the very first year of the network schedule, we, I got to 1,000 subscribers, even though it maybe took four years to get to that, you know, but it's not just because of me 
not just because of Jason, it's about everybody. But I just wanted to give my solid support to Jason because, you know, with, you know, without Jason, I don't know what I'll be doing right now for the schedule because he's done great work with doing game shows for Chunkers Wild, Bookbusters, uh, Tic Tac Doe, um, doing, uh, hosting for those to get some game shows back here on the Devil Dice Network and helped inspire me to get back into doing more game shows here on the network when I felt like I was going in our direction and also, you know, I just really want to thank him for that and also the one with doing new, uh, doing different shows like Wipe Those Tears, for example, and other shows as well and also helping with announcing. He's a great announcer along with Chase and Kenny. Shout out to him. Shout out to Brennan Martin and Danny for being the main along being main contributors, along with many other people I'm gonna think, but it'll take me too long to thank everybody. Um so that is why me and Jason made the different thousand network and you know it's to help each other out grow. It helps me take the pressure off knowing I know there's people that can help each other and also me as well. So and then my best to try and explain all of that here and I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. Um coming in May next month on the Devil Dash of Funny Games Discord server, excuse me. We are doing meetings where everybody has a chance to tell us what they want to see on the Devil Dash Network, what they want to do to help uh, quote both of us and also help us with certain rules to help the channel as well. Um, you know, the means are gonna be on Tuesdays, but we might just uh, means you know, on a different day and time if somebody can't make it. And also, if I can't make it that Tuesday, it's completely okay. Uh, Chase is, what is basically going to be the main host of the meetings. Um, I'm just there to, uh, you know, basically, you know, be the main moderator of that, as it were, even though I'm the owner of the channel. But, you know, it's how you know, it works that way. The meetings go for a half an hour. Um, and for the certain rules we are looking for in meetings next month, which I already buy yesterday a lot of people and I stopped up this weekend. I might try to buy you some more. Um uh help with channel Dallas and hangouts. We do need some folks that can help participate in that program. Uh not just for on camera but behind the scenes and also the live chat. Um so we are all looking for people for certain roles for that show. Um, and that will be for when I rebrand the program or just a general, I don't know, but you know, that's one of them. Another role is to help promote if you want to help promote us, you're more than welcome to. If not, it's okay, but that's just one of the roles right there. Hopefully we can find some sponsors. If anybody has any sponsors they found online that we can use, that'd be helpful. Um, and of course, you know, new shows. If you want to do new shows here on the program, if it's by yourself, if it's with others in our community, or maybe myself, but or or Jason, I'm sure he'll be happy to help. Um, and, and others, just let us know what you think. You know, we can get that. We can get that rolling. Let's talk football, and let me get to that. That show is not coming back. At least for its original format with me, Victor, Brandon, Ch Jason, and uh, Tracy. Um, I will bring the Let's Talk Football back if I get a brand new cast. If I find some people online that are sports talkers and be able to do stuff. Because I want this show to um, still talk football and not just baseball. Um, I want to add variety because this channel is not just about game shows. It's about sports, variety of entertainment, gameplays, etc. Um, so, if I do bring back that stuff, football, I'll be with a, a whole new cast. But the original format is just not coming back because, you know, football, much as I love football, doing it for two years is good enough, especially after 
the results of the Super Bowl that did not go as planned. I'll just see about that. Uh, spring break, spring break for next week. We are going to be doing some great content for you guys. I have that week off for spring break. Um, so here are the shows that will be coming back next week. Wheel of Fortune season one and Dear No Dear season two finale will be on April fifteenth. Um, on, on April fifteenth, there's some episodes of Car Sharks, um, Truck is Wild, and on that Tuesday next day will be Butt Busters. Uh, we'll be having a 3 one birthday special, which I'll still be continuing doing birthday spe- gameplay specials, maybe even in the next couple of years as well, but I'm still doing it this year. Uh, on April 19th, birthday special will be coming. Um, the Dark Crew and Wipe Those Tears. Uh, Wipe Those Tears will make us return next week. And maybe we have to do the same for the Dark Crew to make that as a return for next week as well. Because today is streamer and some difficulties of going live on YouTube. So if that continues tomorrow, um, we may have to make that as a return for next week as well. But as of right now, it's to be, to be announced. And also next week, I may try out some you know, new programs that I want to test out, like for certain pilots or um, you know, just different type of shows that I've thought of in mind that I could test out for the summer schedule. But that is on hold right now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me pause the video right here and get Chase in here for the last five, seven minutes or so of this announcement video. All right, folks, I'm not here with uh, Chase and in this last topic I want to talk about is DMS 2000 News is going to be canceled. And the reason why DMS 2000 News is canceled, Chase take it away. Okay, thank you, David. Um, uh, all this week I caught a cold um, Sunday, and with me taking last week off, uh, it was just kind of getting a little bit to that point where we was missing a lot of time on the on the channel. So, uh, with a uh, decision made by the board of directors, including myself, David St. Dennis, Danny Lewis, we decided to uh, cancel after 154 episodes DMS 3000 News as of today. And the reason why we're doing it is, is because David wants to gear more towards um, what his original content of the channel was. And it's not to say that this program, which started last June, was not interfering with that. And we had the the views and everything. But to have a program five days a week uh, to give you the news, we were losing views over the course of, I would say, maybe a couple months here. The views were consistent, yes, but everybody was tuning in at a later time, which is fine also, too. But we want to go in the direction of having our shows that air once a week and that are not news related. So that way, everybody can pretty much get more involved with all the other shows that we're going to be doing. So it kind of takes, um, I want to thank everybody, though, for tuning into the news program. I hope you was informed, uh, inspired, entertained a little bit as far as that over the 154 episodes. I want to thank Brandon Martin, Mark Leota, Brian Snow for filling in. Brandon Bogard, he did fill in one of those weeks as well. Everybody had a say in part of it, and we want to thank you very much for a good run. We had 154 episodes, and that's pretty good for what we were, you know, trying to emphasize. But we want to go ahead and move forward with it. And, you know, uh, I'm still getting over my cold, as you can see. I sound a little, still a little bit, um, you know, run down, but I'm getting better. And I thank you for the continued support. And know that Wipe Those Tears will be on next week. And, of course, we'll have Saturdays with McVeigh and Jay this coming Saturday. And the play-by-play and the dugout crew, everything pretty much pretty much stay the same. But we would like to have you come in in the May meetings next month and talk about what you would like to have us, you know, air for the summer schedule. I think it would be in your best interest because we are kind of like, I would say we're kind of like PBS. We get our pledges through views we don't ask for money okay we go by what you watch on our channel so by the views we look and see you know what programs are doing well what programs we can you know maybe edit change around maybe change the lineup we like to hear from you so we would like more participation 
from our community and in the comments, you know, in, in, you know, just in messaging. And we like that feedback because I think feedback is important because it, it lets David know uh, what the community wants and what, uh, what he wants as well. And we can come to a compromise and that way everybody is happy. I know we can't please everybody, but in the meantime, your voice will be heard. So that's the important thing we want to hear from you. So these meetings are very important to us because you only get two months out of the 12 to say what you want to say. And so that's May why in August. May in August. Yeah. So these meetings are vitally important. You don't have to attend all five as uh, one of our, uh, one of our, uh, back there for the popcorn panel. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. I know they get the guy. Well, even Zach was asking if he had to attend all five and I'm like, oh, no, okay. no, you, mm -hmm. I don't know why you got the idea that you did. Now, if you want to attend all five, we're pretty much going to be covering the same thing. We'll be there for an hour talking about, you know, uh, what's coming yeah. up in the summertime and recordings. Uh, but we're going to, in, we're going to come up with a new set of rules and etiquette for people who don't, you know, show up or need to, you know, cancel and that you give us yeah. enough time to do that. So that way David can remake the adjustments. Now, of course, people get sick or ill or an emergency comes up. That's the only exception to the rule. You know, mm -hmm. if you're dying, if you're on your deathbed, you know, Fair enough. Yes. If you're sick, you can't rush to the hospital. There's nothing we can do about that. We're not going to hold that against you. If you're sick mm -hmm. and you look like crap and you feel like crap, we don't want you to come on. That's that's you know. Also, if you can't make it to that Tuesday, to any Tuesday, we can arrange it for you for another point of time. And because I know Victor has the popcorn panel on Tuesday nights, which shout out to him as well. Um, right. For Jordy, Jordy, show. all those on the popcorn panel, yeah, I know they they pretty much you know, um, yeah, so we can arrange it for another day, like the day before or after the definitely. case may be. But um, we, do want, we do want some, you know, and I've noticed that there have been a lot of great contestants on our show and a lot of repeats. Yes. I'd like to see some new blood, <laughs> and if yes, because there, we're not, like we're not doing. Sorry, Jason. We're not doing repeats anymore because we want original content here on That's the Jeff Dyson Network. Because I don't want to do any repeats to take the pressure on my on my self. I don't want to do that anymore. So we are gonna be doing a new show, just original content. I'm gonna be myself to the best I can to not be, you know, chase the Kenny heavy anymore on the live stuff as for what we did before. I want and not just Brian Martin and stuff, not just Daniel Lewis stuff. I'm going to try to get back to doing gameplay videos myself for two shows for my original content once I do have the time because um, we, we want to get back to that original channel format going to the next schedule. And I know you agree with me on that one. Oh, definitely. And yeah, whatever's in the archives, you know, they're going to be in the archives. for. So that's why you can always check our playlists to go back yes. and look at those episodes. They're there, and they'll never be deleted, but we're not mm -hmm. going to go ahead and recycle them. Just go to the playlist, follow up, and if you'd like to go back to the beginning of any of our shows, you can do that in the playlist. That and, one thing I would, and one thing I would do want to say before I forget, not everybody will make it to the schedule or the networking channel. Not, not everybody fits, for, because we have to work you know, check to make sure their background is good, that they've had good experience before. We have to check out their channel to make sure their channel is good as well. We yeah. want to make sure, we want to, not everybody will fit for the network. We just want to make sure that, if anything, at least, you know, support us in any way as possible. Right. We want to make sure you're in good standing and you're not one of those trolling channels just looking to get in there and start trouble. We're not trying to, we don't want that drama. If you are, no. Yeah. And if you're a brand new person that has experience, well, definitely now that just, we want to get to know you first and all that good stuff. And like what me and Chase said, we'll make some new rules for the summer schedule and all that good stuff. Um, the reason why me and Chase make the schedule in the first place is to help each other out and also take pressure off myself. And, you know, I just want to 
getting close to game, but um, that's the main reason why we're doing this uh, schedule here. Yeah, but all new recordings for my shows, like for Blockbusters and for Joker's Wild and Tic Tac Toe, they're going to start back up in June. Right now, we're going through the broadcast mode. So in the broadcast mode, you won't see any kind of recordings. So for people who think that, oh, we're doing recordings every week, no, when you no. you know, we'll we'll let you know when those recordings retake their, their their new premieres. As David will put that out in the channel. So it's really important that everybody stay on top of the channel by going to the community page and looking at those uh, those posts. Because when David posts something about that, the community has a right to know. And you know, it's okay if you instant message me or David about it. But if you're constantly yeah. trying. Figure out. Well, I thought we were meeting this week. No, we're not meeting this week <laughs> because Brandon. Also, Spray is so. also make sure to check out the announcement channel on my server as well. Yeah, that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, and that's why I thought also too. Maybe we should get that that group page in Facebook back up, what you had before, and just have us maintain it that way. We'll so, to it. Yeah, maybe we can get the the four, you know, the board of directors to look at that. And by that, I mean you, me, Danny, and Brandon Martin. And the four of us can say, oh, well, we could all be admins of that page. I don't mind doing that because that's a great way to target new people who just use YouTube through Facebook. Some people don't have an account. The only, problem with, the only problem with Facebook is when you try to advertise a video on Facebook, it doesn't go through well. And that's why I don't yeah. promote on there much. And I only promote mostly on Discord and Messenger. Yeah, that's um, true. You're right about but, that. Um, some some drawbacks because yeah. they always try to flag your stuff as inappropriate content. That's just well, not just that, but not just that, but Facebook doesn't want you to leave the page, and that's why it doesn't get its feedback. I don't, I could be wrong, but you know, that's just wrong. Well, I've had some, I had some problems on my pages too, where I thought when I was linking between the group pages on Facebook to YouTube, a lot of people weren't watching it. I also we also have a situation where YouTube also withholds views and then you see about six seven hours later those views have come back so or or go away because yeah. been, with this new algorithm it's been killing us and that's why i want to, you know to try to get many more people as possible so that we, we can fix that for one another and also yeah. not having that pressure but when like for example when it seems like you had a lot of views on the youtube live stream no, just wait a couple of days, it'll be right back down. So, um, but that's well, why we're also, looking for people you know, with. I want to let you know that, um, you know, when we're when we do post upload a video, uh, YouTube looks at all the accounts to make sure whoever's viewing it has a legitimate account. So, that's probably why views are always taken away from us, but somehow, some way, they always come back. So, in the process, we may lose 10 or 12. But we might gain 20 or 30 back. So in the process, know that if you have a channel in good standing and you watched our program and you watched numerous times, know that, you know, and you see the channel. If anything, we would like you to, to let us know if anything does happen to where the views have dropped dramatically on any particular show. And that's not just including what David has posted. You know, just give us some feedback on that. Let us know what's going on. We'll look into it. Yep, and if you think also this show doesn't you know, seem good for the channel or this other show is good for the channel, let us know as well so that way we can try to fix that program or maybe just cancel it all together. And, um, but anyway, uh, any final words before we end this? Because as we get to the half hour more. Just thank you for, um, you know, I want to thank all my my viewers out there for watching the program when you had the time to, you know, get informed on stuff. I know I might probably blew my top a little bit and I apologize for that. But in the process, I hope you did learn something in the world of uh, news programming about some different topics. And I learned a lot over the 154 episodes. So I'm happy about it. It had a good run. And uh, we'll maybe we'll try something in the future. I don't know. But until then, yeah, like, you know. Yep. And uh, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm like, you know, just I uh, hope to see you, some of you guys watching this in the meetings of May. If you don't want to come to the meetings, it's completely okay. If you just want to do your own thing, completely fine. Um, it's just 
right now trying to get back to the original format of the channel, along with trying to get people more involved in certain roles. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching this announcement video, and hopefully if YouTube live stream is back up, we'll see you tomorrow for the next episode of The Dial Crew. Have a good night, everybody. Good night.